Ukrainian drones destroying Voronezh M radar deprived Russia of control over Southern Hemisphere. If the drone strike by the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine is confirmed, it will disable half of Russia's over-the-horizon radar stations in the south to southeast direction, according to Defense Express. According to Defense Express, prior to the strike on the Voronezh M radar station by the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, Voronezh DM over-the-horizon radars near Armavir were also hit. Specifically, targeting these radars is a significant blow to Russia's strategic capabilities as they are responsible for detecting intercontinental and medium-range ballistic missiles and are part of the missile attack warning system. The primary task of Voronezh-M was to provide early warning of ballistic missile launches in the sector from the Persian Gulf to the Sea of Japan. This means it covers China, India and Pakistan as well as potential launch areas in the Indian Ocean. Thus, if the disabling of Voronezh-M is confirmed, it would mean targeting 50% of all over-the-horizon radars responsible for the conditional southeast direction, Defense Express notes. At the same time, Russia still maintains surveillance of China with Voronezh-DM near Barnol, Voronezh-M near Usoli, Sibirskoy in the Irkutsk region. Taking into account the distance to the affected radar stations, there are several more Voronezh-type stations within reachable range from Ukraine. These include Voronezh-M near St. Petersburg, 900 kilometers. Its surveillance area covers the North Sea and the North Atlantic. Voronezh-DM in the Kaliningrad region at Dunayevka airfield, 450 kilometers. Its surveillance area is the sector from the North Atlantic to Italy. Volga in Belarus near the town of Hansavishi. Its surveillance area extends 110 kilometers towards Europe. On May the 26th, according to an RBC Ukraine's source, a defense intelligence of Ukraine drone attacked the Voronezh M over the horizon radar in the city of Orsk, Orenburg region of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian drone covered a distance of over 1,800 kilometers to the enemy target, setting a new range record for kamikaze drones the source reported. Belgium will commit to providing 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028, according to Belgian Foreign Minister Haja Labib. She said that the first fighter jets are to be delivered to Ukraine by the end of the year. According to her, this commitment will be officially formalized in a security guarantees agreement, which will be signed today by Ukraine and Belgium. The Belgian Ministry of Defense will also transfer ammunition from its stockpiles to equip the F-16s for Ukraine. According to the minister, this support for Kyiv is necessary to stop Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, who is determined to push back the borders of European countries and ensure the security of Belgium. Last year, Ukraine and its allies formed an aviation coalition with the goal of providing Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. The transfer of aircraft will occur gradually. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine needs more than 100 aircraft in total to achieve parity of forces in the air. Recently, the first group of Ukrainian pilots completed training in Arizona. They are now heading to Europe for further training. Spain has announced to send Patriot missiles and Leopard tanks to Ukraine as part of a $1.23 billion weapon package announced last month, El Pais newspaper reported, citing unidentified sources close to the operation. So, Spain plans to send 19 Leopard 2A4 tanks to Ukraine by September to strengthen its defenses against Russia in the ongoing war. General Dynamics European Land Systems has been chosen to provide all of the commissioning services for the tanks. All units will undergo thorough overhaul and maintenance procedures, replacing any defective parts and reassembling their systems to ensure full operation and effectiveness before being sent to Kiev. Work for the vehicles will be carried out at their Alcala de Guadera factory in Seville. The delivery is the second batch of Leopard tanks sent from Madrid to Ukraine, following the initial transfer of six in 2023. The new weapon delivery commitment will be announced during an official visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Madrid, where he will meet with Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and King Felipe, the paper said. 
The worth of the package was approved last month by the government, though it did not specify which weapons were included.